Who doesn't like more pixels? The LG G3, the latest flagship smartphone from LG, delivers them in spades. The G3 is the first mainstream smartphone to have a Quad HD display. So what's a Quad HD display? On a spec sheet, it's just a screen with 2560 by 1440 resolution, but somehow LG has squeezed those three and a half million pixels into a 5.5 inch display. Here's just how off the chart sharp this screen is. The current iPhone is a pixel resolution of 326 pixels per inch. The HTC One M8 has a full HD screen and its five inch display clocks in at 441 pixels per inch. The 5.5 inch LG G3 on the other hand beats all challengers with a crazy sharp 538 pixels per inch. You will never see an individual pixel on this screen unless you put your eye right up against it. And who does that? It also has something called laser autofocus. Basically, this is the same technology in radar guns that police use to stop speeders. It shoots out lasers so that it can better focus on subjects faster. Does it work? More or less. The phone also has a neat trick in its knock code on the lock screen. Now, this kind of makes up for the lack of a fingerprint sensor, but instead, you basically tap on the screen in a certain pattern to unlock the phone instead of keying in a pin. It's really more of a trick and a stopgap for the lack of fingerprint support, but it is kind of a neat thing you can show your friends. I've gotta say the design of the LG G3 is pretty top notch. It's got a really nicely finished back. It's very light. It's got a cool curve. And it also has these rear buttons. I don't know if I'm a super big fan of the rear buttons, but I gotta admit they're different and they're kinda cool. The only problem I find with this is that it's a little hard to get used to if you're used to a normal phone. And it's also right by the camera, so a lot of the time your finger is just gonna slip right on top of your camera lens, potentially getting some fingerprints right where you need them the least. It's got a nice design and it also has a little surprise for you on top. Ta-da! Here is the antenna. Now, keep in mind, this is the Korean model, which also comes with digital television service. This antenna will likely not be in the North American version when it goes on sale this summer. So is the LG G3 worth your money? Well, I could get used to the rear buttons as well as LG's rather bland version of Android. But really, the draw here is the display. And it looks gorgeous, whether you're watching YouTube videos or just reading a few articles but it doesn't look so much better over other high-res screens that it gives it much of an edge over phones like the HTC One M8 or the Samsung Galaxy S5. Still, it's a beautiful phone and that's gotta count for something.